about basic foreshortening or base uh, another way to put it is how to make things look bigger when they're how to make things look closer or farther or how do you do draw something that is looking straight at you so let's start with some basics uh, generally if you have two things that are of the same size that are right next to each other they would be the same size if something is farther away then it would be smaller and um, or it might be it might not only be smaller, but it might be directly behind the behind the front thing, which would mean that you don't really see this part right here in the back. Right? That kind of makes sense. Um, so even though this circle is objectively smaller than this circle, uh, when you see it in a picture, and let's say you add a little horizon line here, then you start thinking that this circle it can be the same size as this circle but uh, just through the tricks of uh, art and so and if you take this circle and you lay it out flat then the flatter part it becomes an ellipsoid like that okay So let's say that if you have a toilet paper tube, uh, if you look at it straight on, it would look like a rectangle like this. If you turn it exactly 90 degrees, it might just look like a circle. Okay? They don't really look like toilet paper tubes though because we're used to seeing it in the not just straight on one direction or another direction. So say um, with a toilet paper tube, you have one circle, have one circle on one end, you have another circle on the other end, right? And they're the same size. So then if you connect them, then what you have is a toilet paper tube. Let's erase this part because that is actually, you can't see that. There you go, you have a tube. Or um, maybe you have one circle and then you have the other circle is farther away just because you've turned it so that it's farther away. So if you connect between the two of them and erase the part that actually you don't see and now what you have is a toilet paper tube in that direction. Right. Or for example, our, our thing right here you have a two you have the one circle and you have the other circle so then if you connect it here and the funny thing here is that you would actually see from the inside the hole on the other side right uh, so then there you go you have another toilet paper tube just by drawing two circles of a set distance apart and the farther away it gets, it would get smaller, right? So say if I'm drawing a toilet paper tube in the distance, like right here, then right here, all right. So that is a tr that toilet paper tube is much farther away than this toilet paper tube. Um, and it's somewhere in between with this toilet paper tube. So how does drawing toilet paper tubes help you with drawing other things? Well, a lot of things in the world you can kind of see as a toilet paper tube. For example, a human you can see as having a tubular body and tubular arms. and tube and uh, tubular butt and tubular legs so then drawing getting good at drawing paper tubes will help you a lot when if you ever want to draw foreshortened figures so for example if this person has he has his hand up here, right? So that's like the front end of his wrist. This is the circle that marks the back of his elbow 
and then this is this farther away circle marks his shoulder. So then if you connect the lines here, you have an arm that's coming towards you and then all you have to do is draw a hand and magic. That is foreshortening.